On Wednesday, we honored Pink Shirt Day by wearing pink shirts as a reminder to be kind, empathetic, and inclusive within our community. Our winter athletes celebrated their successful season of skill building and teamwork at their breakfast this week. Please make note of two date changes to our schedule. Monday, April 8th will be a half day with early dismissal due to the solar eclipse. And Wednesday, May the 8th will be a late start by half an hour. And the times for pick up and drop off on those two dates can be found in the Friday file. The art department is looking for parent volunteers. The art show is fast approaching and there are always areas we could use your support with. Please fill out the survey in the Friday file if you're interested in supporting the art show preparations or in general the art program with prep on an ongoing basis. March is Media Mentor Month, an opportunity to have conversations around technology and media use. Created by fellow educational leaders, Carrie Lee Beasley and Alex McMillan, these cards offer great prompts to generate rich discussions amongst our families. A reminder that cell phones and iWatches are not to be used during the school day. All phone calls must go through the school office. iWatches should be kept on school mode. Our spring co-curricular registration is now open. This will remain open until Thursday, March 7th at 9 p.m. Next week, we look forward to a fun final week before the break. We begin the week with the Noodle Junior Trade Show on Monday, beginning at 4 p.m. On Wednesday, all of our students are encouraged to wear purple for our International Women's Day Assembly. And finally, on Friday, students will participate in the end of term clan event. Students are welcome to wear their clan flair on Friday. This week's story is How to Teach a Slug to Read by Susan Pearson. It's a fun story using procedural writing and full of great tips for how to read. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next week 